All right. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Law on the Rose is here. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Salute to Carrie Washington for pulling up, man. And make mm-hmm. sure you go get uh, her book, Thicker Than Water, which is available right now. That's yes. right. Great read. Then mm-hmm. y'all feel like I got a hug from that conversation? Oh, yeah. Her energy is uh, great. It's I mean, everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Her energy is fantastic. Well, let's get to the rumors. Let's go. I think a lot of people will recognize the voice and the name. On the Breakfast Club. Lauren came in hot. You know, Didn't I, she, right? I came in telling the truth. <laughs> so there may be a new couple alert soon if this goes well. So Chloe Bailey was on a uh, Apple Music show called The Dottie Show, and she was asked, "Who is your celebrity crush?" And here is how she answered: "It's Michael B. Jordan." That's my celebrity crush. I've been said that in interviews, but, even like but, years ago. But have you told him? No. This is where we got to work on your shoot and your shot, Chloe. I don't shoot my shot. So how is he going to know? I don't know. I think you should right now DM Michael B. Jordan. No. You could be blocking your blessings. And I know you're big on blessings. I'm big on blessings, but I'm like, God will bring my blessings to me when they're supposed to be here. We've got to stop expecting our blessings to land at our door, Chloe. Mm-hmm. But when we try to force it, we could block other blessings. And then you end up giving them the ick. Exactly. Wow, what is it about Michael B. Jordan? <laughs> wow, look at you blushing like he's in the room. That's crazy. Just from thinking about him. <laughs> That's crazy. No, no. Charlemagne, how, how does that make you feel? What are you talking about? That's your cousin. She's a grown woman. I'm just asking. She can I was make, about to say, she allowed to have crushes. Yeah, she can make her own decisions. I'm just asking. I just feel yeah. like when you're a celebrity, though, and you put something out that like that in the air. It's kind of like shooting your shot. Yeah, if he's available, because I don't know if he's dating again or whatever since uh, Lloyd Harvey, but if he's available. That's shooting your shot. A hundred percent. And by the way, if, even if he's not available, Chloe don't care about all them white women that Michael B. Jordan probably surrounded with <laughs> white stop it, yo. That, I mean, that, uh, <laughs> that's another thing. <laughs> She light skin though. No, oh, my. He, he was dating Lori Harvey. Yeah, we dated Lori Harvey. Lori, That's, Lori Harvey's black. I feel like yes. the, the darkest he probably might go is uh, Chloe. So she might have a shot. Damn it, man. Damn, that's disrespectful. We don't know who we dated Lord. before, do we? Exactly. We probably dated that, that I've that I've seen. I mean, I I don't. Maybe Why you just couldn't keep it to white women. Because Lori Harvey isn't a white woman. No, I know she's not. She's not. But Jesus I'm talking about Christ. after the white women. He's probably surrounded by a bunch of milk right now. So what well, I'm saying, wow. Chloe don't care about. What you're saying is saying, worse what than what I'm saying. Chloe don't care about all that <laughs> wow. milk. Anyway, so, I think Chloe's I... like pour all this milk out. We lactose intolerant. Okay, I, did, I just thought it was cute. I don't know where this just went, but I thought it was. cute. I don't know either. I just be talking. Don't because... listen to me. I'll be lying. Yeah. Well, shout out to Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, and I think <laughs> Come on in it's fire Damn too. It, man. I think it's fire too that she is so open about it. Um, because... She's shooting her shot. Like you shot your shot with Travis yesterday. No, Travis no, no. Kelsey. That wasn't me shooting my shot with. Um... That was definitely you shooting your shot. Mm-hmm. Speaking no. of milk, that was definitely <laughs> shooting your shot at Travis. Kelsey you were shooting yesterday. your shot. That was a little shoot. We Lou not. Shot. We not going back Lou there. Little shot. One thing about men when they scoring, y'all just can't let it go, huh? <laughs> scoring men, y'all. Are, that that's a bad B right there. Okay. We gonna we gonna move on. We gonna talk about Chloe. We gonna talk about J Cole. So I don't know. Hopefully that works out. I can see that. I can see them together. Michael B. Jordan used to be one of my crushes too. I think he's everybody's. Everybody has had like a little thing with him too. Hey, what about the age difference hey, though? Because hey, what he's thirty six, hey. she's what twenty four. Hey, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Okay. I like seeing Michael B. Jordan with black women. I would like that too. Yeah. Why are you saying it to me? Like I'm no, the I'm judge of the saying, jury. I'm just saying I like seeing Michael B. Jordan with black women. I you do. sure you? That's what the B stand for. Michael Black Women Jordan. That's what we wanted to stand for. Gotcha. Not Michael Becky Jordan. Yo, shut oh up, man. Oh, my God. Well, shout out to them. I hope that they figure it out in the DMs if he is available. Mm-hmm. Now, moving <laughs> on. This guy's crazy. <laughs> moving on. Um, so, J. Cole shared something yesterday. He shared a letter from Colin Kaepernick. Now, this letter was a letter that Colin Kaepernick wrote to the Jets uh, back on September 21st. Um, and J. Cole said in the caption that he, uh, he had to actually asked Colin Kaepernick if he was able to share the letter. Colin was a little bit reluctant, but J. Cole said he wanted to share this letter because he wanted people to see how much Colin still wants to play football and how ready he is. Um, Now, the letter, which is addressed to uh, Joe Douglas, the general manager of the Jets, uh, it, it basically just outlines the fact that J. Cole and his team know that they are that the Jets are at a big loss since Aaron Rodgers uh, was injured. And although they have uh, Zach Wilson and now they have another person that they brought in on Tuesday, um, he feels like he wants to lead their practice team because this will give the Jets a reason to be watching him, see how prepared he is. It can also help the team. And then basically if they need a kind of contingency plan, he's there and he's already ready. 
So this letter was sent on the 21st. There are reports, though, that the Jets have uh, recently brought in um, a new player as of Tuesday, a quarterback named Trevor Simeon. Simeon. Yeah, Trevor Simeon. To the practice squad. Yeah, to the practice squad. So I don't know if that means that it's over for Colin in that potential. I love Colin Kaepernick, and I love everything he did for the sport. I love everything he did for standing up for people. But the problem I have now is it it seems like he's begging to get back into the league. I hate like, and I I I don't like to see that. You know what I mean? It's it's like you've done a lot. The league is is boxed you out, and it's to the point now. I I don't want to see him asking to get back in that league. I wish that they didn't share that letter. I wish that letter was never written. That letter was tragically sad and downright pathetic. Colin Kaepernick has let his setback become his identity, and I hate that for him. God exalted Colin Kaepernick into a position of leadership Mm -hmm. in regard to activism, and it pains me to see that man still begging to be in a league that he called racist and compared to a plantation. And I hate that he can never speak for himself. He always got somebody else speaking for him or putting out his messaging for him. That's so whack to me. I wish Colin the best in all his endeavors, but this begging... You know, these same people you called racist for an opportunity is pitiful. I just, I just don't it's like it. Pitiful. I'd rather him go to, what's the other league that they created? The XFL League or, I, or I, any I, other league. But the pitiful. fact that they boxed him out, they, they they don't want him in the league. Like, that's clear. It's very clear. And I had to, I asked earlier in the room, like, how good of a football player was he? Because the way that they just threw him out after all that, you would think that he, he wasn't good. But he was I, a good player. I heard he was it good. It don't even matter. It's been player. seven years, and mm-hmm. God has God exalted Colin Kaepernick into a position of leadership. Now, understand, Literally. he's been playing football probably since he was three years old, so that's all he knows, Man, and, he, and that's what he wants. Because he knows it's something go- else now. God I got put it. him in another position but now. When Stop you, looking back and look forward. It's easy for you to say, but when mm-hmm. you're competitive and you've been playing since you've been three and all you wanted was that ring and you haven't got that ring, that's probably what will make him stop is getting that ring. It is pitiful a, it, to call an organization racist compared to I a plantation agree. and then still be begging to go back on that plantation. You I call agree. America racist and you live here? That's a stupid... I hate when people say that. that because, so it, I mean... I've it, never known anything else. It, it, he and doesn't know anything other than football. Not and you have he's the, been playing football you have since the, three. And you have the resources and the means to move to another country. You're very successful. It, Lauren, what you said makes zero sense, but I'm going to let, uh, okay. I'm gonna let the, the YouTube comments and social media tell you how what you said. Uh, listen, they, the way that they've been getting me all week, that's totally fine with me, <laughs> but I just, I just hate... Just make sure y'all at me when y'all do it so people can follow me. Yeah, Lauren Rosa. L-O-R-E-N. All right. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. Who are you giving that donkey to? For after the hour, man, we need to explain why you don't fight fries with fire. Oh, boy. We'll discuss. All right. We'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.